Ah, uh -huh, my babies. Caress here back. Gonna be showing you how I got this nice bright color with my electric palette. So stay tuned. All right, so first I like to go ahead and start with a nice clean face. Um, I already did my eyebrows, so if you have any questions about that, just leave that down below. I'm going to be go ahead and base my eyes with this NYX Jumbo uh, Pencil. This color is called um, Milk, I believe. And I just like to apply this with my fingertips because it just helps it melt a little better going across my eye. And it comes normally in a pencil, but I just depot it. If you have any questions about that, just ask me down below. Don't worry about it being messy. You're going to clean it up with the eyeshadow anyway. All right, so let's get to the fun part. We're going to use my Urban Decay palette. It's so pretty. I love me some bright colors, y'all. And I'm going to be using this nice bright purple. I'm just going to put that in the corner of my eye to the middle. And I'm going to put it on top of my lid with my blending brush. Now this brush is from Lancome. Um, this is a two side brush. One side is a blending brush and one side is a flat brush. It came with the Audacity um, palette. But you can buy both of those brushes separate. And I'm going to use my flat side to apply on my inner corner of my eye. Make sure you blend it out a little bit with your blending brush. Um, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit with the blending side and then use my flat side to connect them. And you're just going to do the same thing on your other eye. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go ahead and move on to this nice aqua looking blue very nice. I'm going to put that and apply it with the flat side in the middle of my eye on my lid. I'm just going to pack that color on. And don't worry, we're going to blend this out also. You can go back and dip in your purple too so you can like smooth it out. You don't want any fine lines, you want it all smoked out. Alright, so now we can go ahead and clean it up. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D palette. I love this palette. This palette has all matte colors. No shimmer at all. I'm going to use my 217 brush from MAC, I think. And I'm going to just blend away that line. With, uh, I always use a color that's close to my skin tone when you're ready to clean it up. I'm just go right along the lid. Above my crease. And just clean it up. This brush is really nice. This, um, I think I said before, it's from MAC. It works almost like an eraser. See how it's starting to clean it up? Tone it down a little bit. <laughs> so we can get a little crazy with the bright colors. See? 
So now I'm going to go in with this nice cream color from Kat Von D. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyebrow just to brighten it up under there. You don't want it to look, you know, want it to look a little highlighted and clean. It just cleans it up a little more. I'm just going to use my flat, um, flat brush. And go back into my cleanup color again. And I'm just going to erase these lines I have and make sure you blend out everything. So now I can just put a little bit more of this purple right here. I'm going to use my Sonia Cache brush. It's a pointy angle like brush. And I'm just going to use this to put that, apply it underneath my eyes. I love this brush to do underneath my eyes with my eyeshadows. It's really soft. And it makes it really precise so you don't get it all over under your eye. Just exactly where you want it. And that's just going to connect my eyeshadow on the top and the bottom. Alright, so now what I like to do after I apply my eyeshadow, I like to go ahead and use my white pencil. This one's from Ruby Kiss. I like to put that on my waterline. It just opens up your eye a little more. Everybody can use a nice pencil, uh, white pencil under their eye. If you're a little bit more warmer, like more chocolate, caramel complexion, um, you can use like a nice light skin tone pink. And that'll look really nice also. But everybody can use a white pencil. It just opens up your eyes more. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm just gonna apply that all over with my Real Technique brush. This brush is really good, especially if you're a beginner. Um, it just helps you apply it really nice and smoothly all over and even. It just blends out really nice. Without worrying about you messing up or having it not look right or you know, all over your face just not look right. This just helps it blend out really nice. And that little guy there is my beauty blender. Um, just I like to moist it with some water and then just make sure I clean up under my eyes because I'm going to set this also. Now to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This brush I'm going to use to apply it is from The Body Shop. Um, I'm going to apply that under my eyes, but just make sure you always press out any excess foundation that you probably had left over that's still wet. Just pat it out because you don't want to, you don't want your brush and your powder to catch any crease or anything. You want it to look really nice and smooth under there. Make sure you get a nice soft brush when you're applying this because you don't want to drag your skin underneath your eye. That's like the thinnest skin on your face underneath your eyes. So be really gentle when applying it. Now I'm going to go on with this nice warm color and just chisel me out some cheeks. <laughs> I like to put some on my cheekbone and underneath on my chin and I like to put a frame around my face. Just to warm me up, because if I don't, your girl will be looking like a ghost. So, I like to warm it up around my face, just to give me some more color. Because that is not cute. And don't worry, we're going to be blending it out with my powder brush from Lancome. 
and this um, powder is from Lancome also. It's a dual finish in the color Honey. And we're just going to blend all of this away. And if you don't get it all, just you can use your fingertips also. Like I said earlier, your fingertips are just a little bit warmer, so it just helps the product melt a little better. Now I'm going to be using my um, blushes, blushes from Lancome. I love their brush, uh, blushes. They smell so good. They smell like a nice clean rose smell. I can just, uh, you have this smell. You have to go try it out. <laughs> it's really nice. And don't put too much, just a little. It goes a long way. Now this little guy is um, my eyelash conditioner. Steel Booster and the black one is the Grandiose Mascara. This mascara set is awesome. What I like to do is apply my primer first. Um, this one just helps you retain your lashes. Um, gives you nice conditioner because it's really important to condition your lashes. You only get one set, so make sure you take care of them. Just apply that on top and bottom, all over. And it also helps you see them a lot better too. See what you're doing. And it adds a length onto your lashes. Just don't feel protected without my without my primer. Moving on, I like to use my Grandiose Mascara. This one has a nice swan neck and the brush is awesome. It just grabs every lash. I always said I would never spend $32 on a mascara, but this is so worth it. Especially if you you don't know, wear like a lot of false lashes. This gives you that nice false lash look. the bomb <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette yes girl I bought it the new highlighter as you can see I already dipped in it with my fingers <laughs> couldn't help myself just like a little kid so I'm gonna be going in with this nice rosy pink on the bottom And um, I like to go in between those two in the bottom and just mix them. I like a nice highlight. Love me some highlight. It went crazy try on four. You know I did. And I just like to apply this on my high cheekbone, on my chin, on the tip of my nose. Um, and I like to use it on my cupid bow. Just make sure you blend it out with your finger. Cause you don't want it too bright. You want it to look a little natural. Like you didn't even try. <laughs> Alright, so now I can go ahead and take off my scarf. Yes, I had to wear me a scarf because your girl got curly hair, so I need a little more help laying this hair down. Alright, so what I'm going to be using now is my NYX Liquid Suede. Um, lipstick in my monster gloss on oh, Sally's I think you can get this liquid suede lip from um, Alta I purchased mine online when it first came out yep I was really anxious to get those colors thanks to my homegirl <laughs> so I was just gonna use this color and then if it's too pink for you which it was for me I toned it down with this lip gloss that's a little greenish purplish tint to it I was trying to match my eyeshadow you can get this from Sally's Sally Beauty and that is it if you have any questions let me know just comment down below I can answer any questions you have it was really fun doing this look and tag me on Instagram let me know how you know let me see what you came up with how you did it thank you Mwah. love ya <laughs>